Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, uh, or welcome if you're new. Today I'm doing some character designs from a prompt that I gave you guys like three weeks ago on my community. Uh, thank you to all of you who responded, you guys are all absolutely amazing. Thank you guys for your support, and uh, yeah. This is part one of a three part series that I'm going to be posting later on, and because it's a lot of drawing, I'm just going to be very late back on it, and um, just kind of have fun with the drawings. So let's get started. Because it's really laid back, I'm going to be doing a lot of loose sketches just to get to know the character a little bit. The first one is Batfish, and he's jet black with some dark blue stripes around his extremities, loves to play with his brothers, and he's a warrior trained under his father and his uncle Shark. So I really wanted to expand on a few things, uh, first being the brother relationship. I feel like he'd be a very big jerk <laughs> to his brothers when they horse around. Kind of find him a jokester. And then uh, I really wanted to do a full body for all of these characters. I'm only doing one today, um, but I wanted to do a full a full body just so you guys get to see the full colors and not just like portraits. Because <laughs> who wants to just see like the top half of a character? No, you want to see all the different colors kind of put together and how they correlate together. So. Um, I ended up sketching out a full body for him, and then I sketched out a few other uh, portraits. One being him, a bit of a serious aspect. I also did one more, which was him kind of uh, in a... Not confused, but like a... I don't know how to say it. Like, he was shocked, I guess. Uh, in a shocked expression. Uh, who knows why? <laughs> Uh, I will leave that up to the audience, but yeah, so I ended up doing all those three. Uh, I also did a few other sketches off camera, and uh, I didn't like them. For the coloring, I ended up doing um, a few shades lighter instead of jet black because I can't really work with that, but I know that when light hits black, it sometimes can look purplish, <laughs> so I went a few shades lighter on the purple side. I actually picked it out from the batfish picture that I have. Yes, a batfish is an actual fish. <laughs> I didn't know that until I ended up uh, discovering this character. It's such a cool fish. Anyways, I laid down the the main color, which is like a purplish color. And then for the underbelly, I ended up doing like a pale, dark, like desaturated blue. Uh, like a bluish gray, but kind of leaning more towards the purple side. Uh, this was just because I felt like he needed a little bit of blue. <laughs> I don't know. And then for his stripes, his stripes were actually really interesting to make. Um, they were, yeah, they were just interesting. <laughs> I ended up coloring his stripes and then using a lot of layer filters to kind of understand how in the world I wanted to do this. And then afterwards, I actually did a gradient because I felt like that would just kind of help um, transition the stripes instead of just having them like, bam, right on his feet. As you can see, I'm actually doing the gradients right now for the stripes. I gradient the stripes and then I also put gradients underneath the stripes. And you can see that I also um, ended up doing Batfish's uh, main color again because I felt like it was too purpley, like it was way too many shades lighter and it was just not looking very uh, manly. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I ended up changing it a little bit darker and uh, yeah, I went with that. I felt like it was pretty good, but that's where the line art was kind of getting lost, and so I ended up adding a little bit of color on there just to kind of break things up. The stripes, or not the stripes, the spikes and the glow scales being yellow was just such a good design plan. Um, so props to Moonshadow for choosing that. That was just really awesome. I loved the way that they popped, and it wasn't just like here and there, but no, it was like a ripple throughout his entire body. It was really cool and really fun to draw. I ended up not doing the line art for most of the little, um, what's it called? The glow scales? Uh, mostly because I forgot, <laughs> but it was kind of a blessing in disguise because it makes it look just a little bit softer because there's no black outlining all the colors. I didn't know what to do for his like top coat. I was struggling with it for a little bit, like debating back and forth. Uh, you can see me messing with like the layers, trying to figure out, you know, how do I want this to look like. Uh, but I ended up settling for a blue because it just kind of helped uh, rein in the 
what's it called, the stripes, and it helped the stripes not look so lonely at like the bottom and on the tail. And then his gills, I wanted a pop of color. I didn't know what to do, but I was already kind of thinking about the whole purple thing because of his scales. So I ended up doing his gills a little bit more of a brighter purple, and I kind of tried fading it out a bit, um, and it works. It worked. <laughs> and I end up putting that on his face and on the bottom of his feet, so that way it just kind of ties everything together and your eyes not just drawn to the gills, but is drawn to the piece as a whole. And again, with the whole drawing the piece as a whole, I end up changing the color of the wings and I change the color of the ears. I know the ears can sound kind of silly, <laughs> but um, if I were to put it on a gray scale, it actually would be the main center of focus because it's the lightest thing. And naturally, your eyes are drawn to the lightest thing in a piece. So I end up ha having to uh, darken the ear, like the ear skin tone, and uh, that worked out pretty well. And you'll see that I end up actually putting the opacity down for the wing. And I was not planning on doing this. And then after I was blocking in all the colors, I was like, oh, that'd be kind of cool to do, you know? So I ended up doing it. And I was so happy I did because the end result was just, I don't know, I was really proud of myself for, for the end result. I was going to leave it blue. I was so tempted to leave it blue. But I felt like it was just way too out there uh this talking about the the webbing on his spine um i was gonna leave it the same color as the wings because that's usually what happens you know you usually leave it like the same color and it looks nice but it was just way too much so i ended up toning it down with the purples that i put for the gills and fading it into like the skin color and i actually completely changed the wings um, and the reason I do that is because after I showed my dad, he's like, well, wouldn't it be cool if you, like, did something from, like, the batfish, uh, the batfish in the corner? Notice how it has, like, this yellow lining on the wing, or on the entire fish itself. Um, my dad challenged me and said, hey, well, why don't you do that? <laughs> I'm like, uh, <laughs> I guess I could try. And so I did, and when I first did it, I didn't like it. <laughs> I thought it was just like so weird, it didn't look right, and I was really fighting with it for a while. And then I tried doing it like on a blue scale, and that wasn't working either. And so I went back and I ended up settling on this design. Sadly, I did not record it traditionally, but I'll put it up just procreate recording. It was pretty cool. Uh, I ended up making the wing semi-transparent at the bottom and then as it goes out it gets into this thicker material so you can't see through it uh, this was really hard to achieve mostly because i was um messing with it for so long my eyes were already starting to get tired of seeing it then i added his um wing designs for the royal the royal wings or whatever um and yeah it was really fun this character was so fun to do uh, definitely got me out of my art block. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. Um, thank you so much, Moonshadow, for sending this and just being a super big encouragement and support to my channel. And I hope you have a wonderful day full of fries.